Hey there everybody and welcome back to Let's Play No More Heroes 2 Desperate Struggle. Some people like good round peaches, don't they? Some people prefer the juicy melons. However, Travis, on the other hand, loves the coconuts. The hurrier, the better. In fact, Travis Touchdown is a world famous coconut handler. He's, some say that he's even uh, an even better coconut handler than he is an assassin. Crazy. Side Job 3 is all about coconut handling. So let's get straight into it. Let's see who we have to talk to. Right, man, what up? Kids in this city have forgotten our rich heritage. They're not collecting coconuts. It's a disaster. Tradition says you're not a real man until you've grabbed your first big fuzzy coconut. True story. You've got to be a role model for these kids. You'll do it, right? Yes, I will indeed do it right. Because Travis Touchdown must be the master of coconuts. Blow your cartridges, guys. Put them in the console. Push the button. Because this time, it's side job free. It's coconut grabber. Get ready to grab your coconuts. <laughs> oh, it sounds so awesome. So wrong, you gotta love it. Coconut Grabber is a very easy game to, to learn, but a very difficult game to master. The rules of the game are simple. Travis Touchdown has a basket on his back. You need to kick these trees and coconuts will fall from the sky. They will either fall in a very uh, extravagant pattern where they'll, they'll fly down or they'll just go straight down like that one did. Either way, you have to get the coconut exactly into your basket. You know, if you are not perfect in this practice, you will not get any coconuts into your basket. Watch this. If it falls down, it, that looks okay. That looks alright. If it was basketball, that coconut would have gone straight into the basket. But because it was, it landed on the edge, no, it doesn't count. It just bounces. If you go too far the other way when you're trying to collect your coconuts, it lands on your head. It stuns you for about 3-4 seconds. And believe me, that ain't good. You need all the coconuts you can get. You need all the time you can get. Because we got two grand from the first stage, and that is not a good amount. But hey look, the bug out through a bag. Scorpions galore. Don't you just love scorpions? Unfortunately, we do not have our vacuum. And look, there's a hornet as well. Hello, Mr. Hornet. Now, when we kick that tree there, the one that the hornet is flying on, you know, it should hit, the coconut should hit the hornet. But no, it is some kind of crazy ghost hornet. It, it passes right through it. I don't get it. It scares me so much, I have to run along. But as the stages progress, as you can expect, it gets harder. It gets much harder. And in stage two, it's not that harder, but it is getting harder, believe me. What happens in stage two is that you will often have these scorpions on the ground. And the funny thing about these scorpions is that they're always there at the most inappropriate spot for you. When you're about to catch a coconut, you will always find a scorpion there. If you're going to try and catch a coconut in, in, in mid-air, oh look, there's a hornet waiting for you. That is the difficult thing, and it will progress. You will get more of these scenarios as you go through the stages. We earn a little bit more there, but still, six grand, well, seven grand for that stage. Come on, you call this a job? Oh, you got to hate it. But guys, look, how stupid was that, eh? You know, it, this it's so glitchy. I, I, I reckon it's just so glitchy because the coconuts... Or you have to get it directly in your basket, as I said, and that is the main problem. Ugh, it's just a pain in the ass, and you try to you try to position yourself, and you think, yeah, that looks pretty good, and then suddenly you're welcome with a big old thump on your head as a coconut slams down into your skull. You, if you were doing this in real life, you just would not be pleased, would you? You'd want more money. See, it's just, I tried to catch that one in mid-air trying to be all cool like I'm a snowboarder or something and then I get hit in the head in mid-air by a coconut. Scorpions are everywhere and I just seem to be attracted to every single one. Didn't get any of those coconuts and one of them even hits me in the face. You know, this is just a shocking mini game. It is not a good mini game. The music's quite nice. It's very Mario-esque. Even the action. All the sprites look quite nice. Very Mario-esque, as I said. However, don't play it. Forget this game exists. The game goes side job one, side job two, side job four, etc. Free does not exist. You know, Travis Touchdown hasn't even heard of a coconut. That's what you should think, because this one is terrible. Now, you fought the first three stages. Oh, 
you'll start, you know, those first three stages aren't too bad, and then you start stage four. Look, three hornets already, but believe me guys, there's a lot more hornets, there's a lot more scorp uh, scorpions, and uh, look at it, look at all the uh, hornets there. It's like Kaizo with all the chompers it floating in mid -air. You You have to jump through hoops. And then look at this scenario, you have to squeeze under the hornets whilst collecting coconuts. There's a scorpion here, you have no room whatsoever to do anything. If you're thinking about swinging a cat in this mini game, believe me, there's no room. I get hit by another hornet. I had to use the invincibility frames to get past most of these guys. I got that one at least, but that one went through the bottom of my basket. This game is so glitchy, I don't get it, but... Oh, I manage, and this is this stage, as far as points go, as far as getting money goes, is not as bad as the first three. In the first three, you've got next to nothing. I think you've got 300 per coconut in stage three, which is nothing. However, in this one, you get a thousand per coconut. Look at that, by the way. You have a little spot to hide in to get all those coconuts off the trees. It's ridiculous, I tell you. But you do get a thousand per coconut in this coconut in this one. So 10 grand. Plus about another 10 grand, depending on how quick you do the level. 20 grand isn't too bad for the final stage. The rest are rubbish, though. Nice work. Wish my wife had your coconut handling skills. <laughs> oh, the less we know about that, the better, dude. <laughs> anyway, guys, it's just a short video today. I just wanted to show you that very... Oh, just awful um, side job. Coconut grabber is terrible. But we will continue to more exciting things now that we've got that unfortunate event out the way. Anyway guys, I need to head back to the motel just to do some things. So, the adventure will continue next time on Let's Play No More Heroes 2 Desperate Struggle. See you later guys.